when when COVID hit, it was fun to sit back and watch the leadership reactions um, of of organizations, and it was inspiring to see that whether people were good leaders or bad leaders, whether they were effective or ineffective prior to COVID, they all, uh, most of them leaned back on their own humanity, you know, where it was normal for people to pick up the phone and say, are you okay? Is your family okay? We had more patience, you know, if somebody was struggling and their kids were struggling or he had a sick family member, we, we were okay. You know, we sort of allowed them to take time. And, and for me, the, the joy in that was that's just good leadership. You know, it's a shame that it took a pandemic for people to learn how to care about each other. And I really hope that those skills that people used naturally uh, continue after COVID. Sadly, I'm sure a lot of them will, will forget. Um, and, uh, you know, a lot of uh, just what I consider good leadership I, uh, ideals happened organically. So another one was I talk about this idea of the, uh, the, um, the worthy rival. So I don't believe in the sense of competition. You know, we live in a world where there's no such thing as winning business. It doesn't exist, right? Um, uh, where two organizations who sell basically the same product for basically the same price, basically the same quality, can both be wildly successful simultaneously. You know, it, 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 there's no winning. And so when companies talk about their competition, to me it doesn't make sense because competition, a competitor, is another player you want to try and beat which means you spend too much time focusing on what they're doing, and you sp spend too much time comparing arbitrary metrics, whether it's profits or revenues or market share or number of properties or number of employees or number, whatever it is, they're arbitrary. You get to pick what you're making the comparison, and you're all proud of yourself when you win at the end of the year, but the game doesn't end. Um, I prefer the concept of a worthy rival, and a worthy rival is another they may, they may or may not be in your industry, but it's another player in the game who does one or many things better than you. In other words, their strengths reveal to you your weaknesses. And you can study them, you can be grateful for them, but trying competing against them is, is pointless. Um, but the whole idea is that the, the only true competitor in the game of business is yourself. How do we improve what we're doing? and learn from those who do similar things to us rather than trying to beat them. And one of the things that I saw when COVID struck, which I found so fascinating, is everybody was so preoccupied with their own survival that the total number of companies that had a, any kind of presentation about our competitive threats was zero. Nobody was worried about their competitors because they were just trying to survive. Well, that's correct. That is the right mentality in a good market or a bad market, which is uh, how do we even if times are good, how do we survive for 50, 100, 150 years rather than how do we maximize this year and then, and then blow all the wealth at the end of the year, you know? Um, uh, so I, I, that, some of those things that COVID sort of revealed are really good leadership skills that I hope, I hope stay way beyond COVID.